Revolution Sonar's new sonar aiming system, the RS-1, made from billet aircraft aluminum, weighs under four pounds. Rotary foot controlled, moves in less than one degree increments. 540 degrees of rotation, adjustable sweep speed, down to as little as a quarter of an RPM, up to 18 RPM. Here's the motor assembly, as you can see, Cerakoted, everything's Cerakoted, best coating available. Here's the rail, that's what everything mounts to. You've got a centering ring and a centering ring and bushing here. You can get different transducer configurations. I've got the LVS-62 here with, uh, with a perspective mount and I've got my LVS-34 uh, and take mind these are zero mounts. All right, guys, I wanna talk about my new sonar aiming device. Man, is it a nice system. It has been developing over the course of time. I saw it actually at the Bassmasters Classic last year. I got to see all the features, uh, met the owner, and it, is truly revolutionary. Uh, finally got one. Got it installed on the boat today. Wanted to get out on the water and test it. He should be coming out with it where you can purchase it in probably about another couple, two, three, four weeks. I'm not for sure on that. But I do know that it will be coming out where you can purchase the unit if you're on the mailing list. I would just wanna show you some of the features that this has. I mean, it's, it's, it's a device that will, that aims your sonar, forward facing sonar, where you can either have it following, mirroring the trolling motor. You wanna look for suspended bass, suspended crappie. A lot of those guys want it on the trolling motor. Well, with this device, you can do either or. So you can either have it mirror the trolling motor while you're out searching. Or if you have some structure, like a lot of the crappie fishermen do, like what I do, brush piles, any kind of structure, rock piles, anything. Then you can take it off of mirror and have it separate from your trolling motor. So you can spot lock your trolling motor and let it do its thing but yet you have control of that transducer to aim at your structure and be able to cast to that structure. Also, it has compass heading, have it in spot lock, and, and set your compass heading. So for instance, if you want, uh, if you've got a brush pile over there, you can, you can actually have the heading there and set it and it will it will stay on that heading so you can sit there and fish that structure that's another feature that it has I mean it's got so many different features on it, it, it I'm still new I'm still uh, today was the first day out but it's basically it's it's really a it's a it's a system because there's other things coming that he's working on that will be integrated with this system. I mean, it's just, it's unbelievable. I mean, I've been out here for a couple hours with it and I'm just amazed. I mean, how, how smooth it is. I mean, it, it, it moves in such small one degree increments. Uh, I mean, it's just incredible. Um, it's just, it's hard to describe until you have one. I'm going to show you the different modes, features. I'm just going to pick up the, uh, get the foot pedal up here with me. It's just a much easier. We have three different main modes. First mode is manual mode. Oh. Pull your trolling motor up, run to a different spot. You deploy it. It's always going to be at three green dots. It's going to be in manual. It's going to be at the 12 o'clock position. Manual mode is basically what it is. Anywhere you move this is where the transducer is. Those three dots represents the transducer. So right over there is where it's pointing right now. If we want to have it pointing to the front of the boat, it's pointing to the front of the boat. 
we have full control of that transducer since it's not mounted to the troll motor shaft. So any, like I said, anywhere we move this, that's where that transducer is gonna move, okay? That's, that's the first mode. Second mode, it's a compass heading setting. So as long as the boat is in this area, you spot locked or you got your, your power poles, you know, rafters down, and it's windy, and it wants to turn the boat or whatever, move the boat around, we can set a compass heading. Okay, so if we wanna go in to set that, that uh, uh, heading, compass heading, you know, where we move this, so if, let's just say we're gonna set one right over there, then if we, we right click, now we, we just set that heading, okay? So anywhere this boat moves, that transducer is gonna stay pointed exactly at that spot. If we click it a note one more time, that's the third mode, that is trolling motor mirror. So anywhere that trolling motor turns, that transducer is gonna mirror that trolling motor. So I'm gonna move my trolling motor, all right? So if you'll, if you'll see that green, the green dot is actually the trolling motor and the two, uh, the two blue dots is actually the transducer. So it, it's fo it will follow that trolling motor uh, anywhere you point it. So if you're wanting to chase suspended fish and you like the transducer on the trolling motor, this is what that feature is. It runs 18 RPM and plenty fast enough to keep up this thing. I mean, it's, it works great. Okay, the other mode that we have is called sweep mode and that is in, is in uh, compass heading. So like I said, right now we're in trolling motor mirror. We're gonna hit the button. We go right back to manual, hit the button again. We're in, now we're in compass heading. We hit the button again. We're back in trolling motor mirror. Hit the button again, it takes us to manual. Now, if we go the opposite way, you can, you can go either way. If you hit the left from manual, it goes into troll motor mirror. Another, it'll go into compass heading. Okay. If we hit it again, it takes us right back to manual. So it's a circle, triangle, it's a, it's a circle. So there's three main modes. We already covered uh, manual. And we're gonna go now to um, we're in the compass heading, but we're gonna go into the sweep mode. To get into that, hold down the right key once you're in there. That's sweep mode. Now I've got it set, the two yellows, the two set points, the clockwise or right set point is those three yellow dots, and this is the counterclockwise set point. So it's sitting there scanning. The, the three red dots is our transducer. So say we want, a, we want a bigger scan or we want a different scan. All you do is I click on that, on that right button and we can set that, that clockwise or right side anywhere we want to. Say we want to scan, ah, let's just scan right there. We're gonna, we're gonna lock that in. Now we're gonna do our counterclockwise, that red dot. Okay, we're gonna set it. Let's just say we want to set it right there, we're gonna lock it. So now it's gonna scan at those two set points that we made. All right, say we wanna go faster, hold down the right button. This is the speed, speed dial. So, you know, where that's the highest speed that it'll go, 18 RPM, that, that's, you know, half speed. So let's just go on to 18 RPM. We're gonna, we're just gonna take and Click that, it saved it. So now there's our new speed. All right, so now we wanna, if we wanna change uh, the, the sweep, we'll just, we just gonna take and push that button. Say I want my sweep to be, I wanna sweep, well, let's just say we wanna sweep from there. And then I want, I might wanna sweep all the way over to there. Now watch. It's that easy. Let's go ahead and uh, hold down on that. 
get in our speed and let's slow it down. Saves it. As you know, it's gonna take a good while for it to go back because we're running so slow, it's gonna have to come back over to here. So what we'll do, hold that down. Let's speed it up. Pretty neat, huh? So if I hold that button down, I'm back in manual mode. So we're manual. I mean, it is smooth. If you, I mean, it, it is so smooth. You can you can move so minute, small increments that you're not going to miss anything oh. in any structure, anything that you're looking at. Nothing. I mean, this thing truly is revolutionary.